MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint. from Alumni Field on the campus of Mansfield High School. This is senior football varsity action in spring football season. A real special treat tonight, the equivalent of a flex game, two undefeated teams coming into this one. We have the Hornets of Mansfield hosting the Rams of Marshfield. Happy to be with you on Marshfield Community Television for this one, following the Rams on the road. As I mentioned, both teams come into this without any losses have been running really potent offenses and very stingy defenses. David Snow with you on a Friday night with Sean Leary on my right, handling the camera duties and Jonathan back in the studio. The A team is in place, ready for what should be a really good matchup between two talented teams. Rams will be in their white road uniforms with green numbers and the home Hornets will be in their green pants with black shirts and silver helmets. Mansfield has won the toss and will has elected to receive. Ethan Grindle will be kicking off and getting us underway here momentarily in what should be a really hotly contested battle. Had a quick senior night celebration prior to the game getting started. Both teams honored with the, their seniors were acknowledged. Ball is up in the air. The kick is short. It's going to come down at about the 19-yard line, and it's it's brought through there. Picked up by Wall. So James Griffiths comes through with the tackle on the shot. James Griffiths playing with a heavy heart. Uh, had a loss in the family this week. They acknowledged a moment of silence prior to that for the captain. Big... Uh, Big tackle there on the opening kickoff. So we'll get underway now. A talented offense comes on the field for the Hornets. Quarterback is Matt Bowen, also a all-scholastic basketball player. And the handoff goes to the right, and that's going to go to Sincere Gill. And he gets stacked up after about a yard. Forward progress might give him two. Gill is a star running back for the Hornets. Watch him film this week. He'll be a key for the Rams to keep an eye on him for sure. So second down and seven for the Hornets just over the 30 and the give right there goes to Comer Anthony Comer brings it forward he gets it out just shy of the first down oh they're going to give him the first down so two running plays and the Hornets have their first 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 down of the game first and 10 at the 38 Wind starting to pick up behind us, blowing right across the field from the Marshfield side towards the Mansfield side. Sun headed down. Hornets are looking into whatever sun remains here. And the handoff's gonna go to Comer. Comer stutters and he's gonna be brought down for a loss. A big tackle there from Casey Trodden. Casey Trodden came right up behind the, the ball carrier and brought him down. So a big loss there. It's going to be second down at about 17. So Matt Bowen goes back to work out of the shotgun. He's got one guy in the backfield with him. That's Holmes, Nico Holmes, one of the captains for the Hornets. Man in motion, and it's going to be the give is going to go to Holmes, and he runs forward and gets back. 
some of it is going to lead them with a long third and seven. Trodden and McAlpine on the tackle. Matt McAlpine in that one. So the ball sits right on the 40-yard line. So after the gain of nine, it's going to be third and eight. So Rams will look for a stop here. Bowen looking into the sun, waits the snap. Again, he's got Holmes with him. He's going to look to throw. He rolls, left-handed throws, and he's got a man, and that man is Comer. He brings it down just over the 50-yard line to the 49 into Marshfield territory with another first down. So the Hornets are moving the ball effectively. Pick up their second first down of the game. So Bowen comes over. He's going to go out on the left now. A little bit of a wildcat look here. And it's the handoff goes to Comer. Comer just gets wrapped up and brought down by Trodden and Bunker. Casey Trodden lost his helmet in the process. He's going to come off for a second, get that helmet back on. Big tackle for Casey Trodden. Bunker right there with him. So there was no fool in the Rams on that one with the attempted Wildcat. They pick up one on that play. It'll be second and nine from the 48. 8.22 to go, first quarter. First drive of the game for the Hornets. Mansfield has been running up some big numbers on offense, just like the Rams. Both defense have been strong. And Bowen's going to fake the hand up. Now he lets it go to Comer, and Comer's just brought down by a herd of Rams. Right in there on that one for the Rams was... Sam Sullivan's going to get credited with that tackle. It was a group effort. Sullivan was there first. Third down and nine now. From just outside of the 48-yard line of the Rams. Clock continues to run. First drive of the game. Wind picking up. Beautiful night for football here in the spring. And we got a timeout. Timeout was called by Mansfield. Going to take another look, talk it over. At this point, we'd like to acknowledge Brait Point for supporting our coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics this season. Thank you, Brait Point. The Rams will group during this timeout. See what Mansfield brings into their backfield. So neither of these teams knew a week ago that they'd be playing tonight. And I think very happy to have found one another. Uh, Mansfield typically would play Foxborough in a traditional season for Thanksgiving. This is the first time in decades that they won't play Foxborough in a football season. And they've got a worthy opponent on the other side tonight replacing Foxborough and Marshfield who is thrilled to get this game, a fifth game in what has been a wild season of stoppages due to COVID and everything under the sun. We've had every kind of weather. And these guys deserve all the credit in the world for getting out there on the field week after week. So here we go, big third down, third and nine from the 48, 7.20 to go. Bowen, got one man to his right, he fakes to him, he's gonna roll, he's rolling, rolling, we got a hold. Flag was thrown immediately. The hold came right in front of the official. No hesitation. It is a hold against Mansfield. Chris Aruka getting the uh, the directive from the referee. So he's got to decide: does he want the yards or the down? They're going to accept the penalty, which will back the Hornets up. Another 10 yards, so it'll be third and close to 20. Clock will run, the ball's gonna be spotted at the 38 of Mansfield. So 
So third and 23. Matt Bowen comes out with the third and 23 call. Talks to Comer. He's got Comer in the backfield along with Holmes. Big play early here in the first quarter. And it looks like we had some movement on the line. So another five yards will come back and that's gonna make it third and 28. And it's a delay a game. Got a very fired up Rams bench down beneath us. Knowing that every every series here is gonna be important tonight. And for the seniors, it's your last game. Everything to play for. Great atmosphere here down at Alumni Field in Mansfield. Third and 28. Snap's going to go to Bowen. He fakes the handoff. He rolls. He's got a man right on him, and he's just going to throw it down into the turf. The attempt was made to Comer. He had Nicholson in his face immediately. Big play from the Rams' defense, and a big play for Nicholson, who gets a lot of congratulatory bumps from his teammates as he comes off the field. So the Hornets are going to be forced to punt. And the deep man for the Rams is going to be Pat Yusenko. He's the lone man back there standing on the 34-yard line. The snap is down. The kick is up. And it's blocked. It's blocked. And man in pursuit. You're going to have to take a safety. He's going to push it right out of the end zone. And that's a safety. So the punter never had a chance. Gillerin. He's right, you're right. That's right. That's an illegal batting of a ball. So we've got the defensive coordinator up here with us who is saying you cannot bat the ball out of bounds, that it's illegal. Seems like the officials are uh, gonna confer now. So a big block on that play for the Rams special teams. And the punter had all he could do. Gillerin got back there and just decided to swipe it out of the back of the end zone, which is illegal. Either way, it's two points for the Rams and they're gonna get the ball. So they'll take a two nothing lead off of a blocked punt. 5.47 to go in the first quarter. Rams draw first blood with a safety on special teams. Casey Trodden was a man on the block. Thank you, Coach Newcomb. Hey, we Casey Trodden off to a good start tonight. Had a big tackle early and also a blocked punt. Two points in the ball. So the Rams, uh, true to form, have never, never trailed this season. They've jumped out to leads in every game. Tonight, no exception. Doesn't seem to matter who the opponent is. This is a potent offense and a very opportunistic defense. So it'll be the same man who just punted, Gillerin. He's going to kick off. He kicks it. Yeah, kind of a squib up in the air, and it takes a bounce. Vinny Skulski's going to grab it at the 36, and he's on the move. Out right to about midfield. Going to come up just shy of the 50-yard line. The Rams will take over. So Vinny Skulski picks it up on a hop and takes it up. About 14 yards on the return. 2 nothing Rams early. 5.42 to go in this first quarter. So the Rams offense will go to work. Owen Masterson back at the uh, controls tonight after a week off. Ian Scholes did a great job re replacing him last week. Got a man in motion, low snap, and Masterson's just gonna run forward. He brings it forward about two, maybe three yards. We're gonna call it two. Oh, they're gonna call him down. 
off of the low snap, drop to a knee to pick up that ball. So it's going to be a loss of four yards. Second and 14 from the 46. Masterson. He's got Griffiths with him in the backfield. Also has Van Fleet. He's got Skalski to his left. Yasinko and Couples to his right. And some communication in the backfield. Masterson gets ready. Griffiths steps forward. And they're going to run Van Fleet looking for a hole. He is not going to find one there. And eventually he gets jammed down. So it's going to be third down and a long 12. And Fleet was stopped in the backfield. Picked up about two. Third and long for the Rams. Both teams' defenses have come to play clearly. Masterson's got a man in motion. That's Couples. And he looks back. He's looking right. Watch out. He's got a pass released. A little high. So the Rams are going to have to punt something they haven't had to do a lot of this year. Ethan Grindle steps back. Deep man will be Anthony Comer for the Hornets. He's down there by himself right at about the 20, backing up 19, 18. Very little wind right now. Snaps high. Left-footed punt up. Going to hit the ground. Comer's going to chase it and takes it at the one. Risky, risky. Takes it out to the 20. Uh, about the 18-yard line. Picked it up at about the two. Scampered toward the sideline and then tiptoed along the sideline and picked up a little extra yardage there. Got something out of nothing there. Get the ball out to the 18 for the Hornets. They'll take over there with their second drive of the game. Three fifty-three to go as the Hornets take over first quarter. Alumni Field in Mansfield, the Rams in Marshfield, and they're visiting Whites on defense. Bowen takes the snap, a little handoff. The handoff really going nowhere. Forward progress is going to get you. Maybe two yards, so Holmes carries the ball forward. Casey Trotten again, man on the move, making the tackle. So two yards for Nico Holmes, one of the senior captains for the Hornets. And Bowen's got a man back with him, and that's Anthony Comer, senior. And fake Kandroff. He's going to hold on, and Tim Bunker's right there. He's going to get backed up. Matt McAlpine was right there on the tackle, along with Bunker. And Quinn Sullivan was there as well. Casey Trodden in there. So third and six. So far we're in a defensive battle. That's how the game last week versus Hingham started out too. And it certainly didn't end that way. 36 to six victory for the Rams over Hingham. But that started out with a nothing, nothing first quarter and then the Rams got rolling. So the Hornets on a third and seven. Owen rolls, left-handed throws, and he's got a man, and it's a first down right there. Comer found himself some open spaces. Pass him just a, was able to get past Casey Trotten in the air, who extended his arm, and Comer were able to bring that down. Hornets with a big first down. So they'll maintain possession with 2.10 on the clock and running. First quarter. 
Bowen. Got man spread, got a man in motion. He's going to give it up. And that goes to Wall. Wall's going to be brought down by McGetrick. Aiden McGetrick on the stop after a pickup of about four. So Jake Wall picks up four. It'll be second and six. Clock continues to run. 1.35 on the clock and running. Bowen comes in with the play for the Hornets. Takes a look. Got a man wide left, a man in motion. That's Wall, fake handoff, and he's going to hold on, and he's going to run forward and pick up the first down. Matt Bowen, all scholastic basketball player, quarterback for the Hornets. Obviously very athletic. Brought that ball down and picked up the first down. Scampered out to the 44. So another first down. That's the fourth first down of the game for the Hornets. So they're moving the ball. So started at their 18. Comer picks up a handoff. He's running left and running out of room. And he's just going to run out of room right there. Mr. Sullivan able to run him out of bounds. So Sam Sullivan led the led the crew there and running him out of bounds. So big loss of one. Be second at 11. 48 seconds to go in the first quarter. So Bowen's got a man in motion, fakes the handoff, gives it to the second guy. And that's Holmes, he runs forward. Nico Holmes, second man through, carries it forward, picks up about five. It's gonna be third and a long six. Clock runs, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. Time ticks down. We're going to end scoreless in the first quarter, just like we did last week. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> we had a safety. <laughs> the Rams, too. <laughs> the Hornets, nothing. If they're not scoring touchdowns, I guess I can't count them. So Marshfield, too. Hornets, nothing. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Fall 2 and Spring Athletics is proudly underwritten by Breakpoint. Thank you to the good folks at Breakpoint as we get ready for a second quarter. Third down and six for the Hornets. They just entered the Marshfield side of the field. They'll be at the Marshfield 48 when they snap this one for the first play of the second. Marshfield picked up two points off of a blocked punt. The block was from Casey Trodden. Blocked it and the punter was just swiped it into the end zone. So third and six from the Hornet 48. As mentioned, both teams undefeated. Looking to put a blemish on the other team's record. In their last game of the year, the ball through. And it'll be the first run of the game for Scarpellini. Rocky Scarpellini loses a couple of yards there. May have got a little forward progress. Tim Bunker. Credited with the stop there. Bunkers had a great season. Ball sits right on the 48 yard line. Fourth and six. And in a defensive battle, it looks like the Hornets are gonna punt. You never know. 
particularly after what happened on the first punt of the game. It'll be Gillerin back to punt again to try his luck this time. It'll be Yasinko back to receive for the Rams, holding to a 2-0 lead in the second quarter. And the snap's low, just gets that off. Casey Trodden was in there again. Yasinko picking it up on the fly. He's going to take it at the 5. Outruns the first guy down. Out to the 15, 20, runs out at about the 21. Nice return for Yasinko. Had to pick that one up off of the bounce. Brought that back about 15 yards. Going to be spotted at the 20. Casey Trodden just missed his second block of the game there. Got in the backfield. Low snap. Punter able to get that one off just in time. So the Rams will take over for their second possession of the game. Masterson at quarterback. He's got Van Fleet with him to his left in the backfield. He's got three wide to his left. Man in motion. That's Couples. Stutter step. Masterson looks to pass. He's got some time. Looks for Griffiths. Slightly overthrown. Coverage there by Xander Holmes. So it'll be second and ten. And Masterson goes to work. Again, three to his left. Van Fleet to his to his right. Man in motion again is Couples. And pass goes wide to Yasinko. He picks up some ground. He picks up about six. Hard earned yards over there on the Mansfield side of the field. There is a flag. We'll see who's getting hit. It's going to go against Marshfield, it looks like. It's a hold. So see they're going to back him up. We'll take the down. They are going to back them up. They'll accept the yards. And going to back them up 10 yards there. That's going to put them inside of their 10 down to the 8, 9-yard line. Just shy of the 9. It's going to be second down and a long way to go. Second and 21, Masterson takes a look. He's got two to his right. Now Griffiths moves out. One to his right, three to his left. Van Fleet with him in the backfield. Big stack on the left. They're looking to throw. Good, good coverage there on Yasinko. Broken up there by Fischera. So it'll be third and 21. Both teams playing some solid defense here early in Mansfield. Masterson on third and 21. And man in motion, couples. And a little dive play there by Van Fleet. Couldn't get loose. He's going to be brought down at the 10. And the Rams are going to be forced to punt their second punt of the game. So two potent offenses are really being shut down by some strong defenses early on here. Grindle's going to punt for the Rams. Comer will be the returner for the Hornets. He's back at the 42. Grindle kicking into a slight wind. Snap is low. Kick is away. It's low and short. Picked up at the 34 on the run. Comer runs into his own guys and then is brought down at the 25. So Comer... With the return, good solid return on the run, short kick, picked that up on the run and took it down to the 25. Big opportunity now for the Hornets, trailing by two, 9.53 to go in the second quarter. So we'll see what the Hornets bring out here. Bowen. Looks, gives it to the trailer, Comer, who dives forward and finds something there, picks up at least five, gets it down to the 20, so he picks up a solid five yards. Tires in on the tackle. Matt McAlpine in there, Quinn Sullivan. All in on that tackle of Comer. 
Picks up five. Second and five from the 20. Rams. There's an official timeout. So the Ram players take a knee during the timeout. The official timeout is for a Ram player who's trying to catch his wind. We're at the 20, 25 yard, at the 20 yard line. Second and five, clock running, 9-10 to go. And it's gonna be Coma who's gonna run to his left and he's loose. He's got one man to beat and takes it inside the five yard line and takes a late hit. So he was headed out of bounds inside the five. It's gonna be a late hit on Sullivan. Should be half the distance to the goal. So the Rams getting backed up deeper and deeper now with their 2 nothing lead in jeopardy. Comer with a big run in there, picks up about eight, uh, about 16 on the run. And then with the additional yardage, half the distance to the goal on the late hit, they're gonna have the ball just outside of the two. First and goal. Hornets looking to punch it in. Bowen in the, he's got a three guys stacked in the backfield. He's got Comer and Scarpellini, and it's gonna go to Comer, and he's gonna just walk right through with the touchdown. Sweet as you please. Bowen handoff to Comer, and he scampers in. It's picked up in the end zone. So Anthony Comer with the touchdown. Score now 6-2. Giller and out for the extra point out of the hold of Cam Walsh. Wind picks up just in time here. Snap is down, kick is blocked. Blocked there by Quinn Sullivan. We do have a flag. It's a false start. So a dead ball, dead ball on the false start as if the block never happened. So they back him up. So it'll now be a 25 yard extra point attempted by Gillerin. Walsh with the hold. Rams looking to get through and it's blocked again. Second time in a row for Sullivan. Sam Sullivan just found himself in there once and he said, you know what, I'm gonna go back and do it again. So big block there, everything matters in this type of a game. Blocked extra point, 6-2. Got a baseball hockey score here at Alumni Field in Mansfield. 8.58 to go in the second. 6-2, Rams will look to regroup and get something going on offense. So we got a block punt and a blocked point after. Good night on special teams for Casey Trodden and Sam Sullivan. Back deep to receive for the Rams, number 10, Vinny Skulski. Set to kick off for the Hornets, number 73, James Gillery. So it's Skulski down the middle. And he's got Dutra back there with him to his right and Couples to his left. Gillerin to kick off. 
after a touchdown scamper for six points. Ball's in the air. Skulski's going to take it at the eight. Dangerous man looking for some, some space. He brings it out to just shy of the 30. It's going to be marked right at the 30. So a good return for Vinny Skulski, the senior. Picked that up at the eight, scampered out to the 30. So good special teams play for the Rams so far tonight. They trail by four. 8.51 to go second quarter. This will be their third possession of the evening. Hoping to make something happen. They have had no problem in previous games tonight. Both defenses have been a little tougher to move against than either teams have been accustomed to this season, this short season. Masterson now with a man in motion. And the handoff is going to go to Couples. Couples looks forward. He brings it out to the 36. Pickup of six yards for Ethan Couples. Took it in motion. Ran to his right. Picked up six. Maybe five. And Masterson's going to move quick. Short pass to Couples. Picks it up low. Picks up about three yards there. It's going to be third and about two. Got a flag down. It is a hold against the Rams. And they're going to back them up. It's going to put the Rams in what was a short yardage situation. Now a long third and 12. Masterson, he's got Van Fleet to his left. Three out to his left as well. He's got a man jump offside off of the hard count. Two Hornets jumping up. And so that's going to pick up five yards the easy way. Now it'll be second and seven. Masterson, Van Fleet to his left, three on his right. Got Nizalik out to his left as well. Hard count. And Fleet stays with them in the backfield. Taking their time on this one. Owens ready. Oh. Got a uh, somebody moving on the line there. So now you're gonna get backed up another five. Delay of game penalty against the Rams. It'll be second. So the call is for a delay of game. Took too long to get settled on what they were gonna call there. So the guy with the stick is getting a workout. He moves back. Going to be second and 12 from the 28. Bad snap. Got a man in the backfield. Masterson able to step aside and nearly gets picked off. So it'll be third and 12. Masterson was being chased down there. Ryan DiGirolamo for the Hornets. Almost came through with the, the pick. It was a low snap from the start for Masterson. He's got four guys to his right. Quick hard count. Nobody moves. Van Fleet. Step away from Masterson. Some move, more movement. So this is very uncharacteristic for this Rams offense. Another false start. So they're backing up, heading the wrong way. Masterson, short pass out to Yasenko. Yasenko gets thrown out of bounds. The Rams are going to have to punt again. 
third offensive possession, three punts. Rams are going to have to make something happen on special teams of defense here. Grindle back to punt. Snap high, brought down. The kick is up. It's high. It's going to land at about the 50. And takes a Mansfield bounce and going to be touched down at about the 44. Hornets will take over on the Rams side of the field. 6 to 2. Mansfield on a short run from Comer and then a blocked extra point from Sam Sullivan. So it's six points for the Hornets, two points for the Rams. First down now for the Hornets, 6.45 to go, second quarter. Matt Bowen. And take the snap, you get a man in motion, fakes the handoff, hits the second guy, that's Holmes. Holmes comes forward and he's stacked up and he's going down. I see Casey Trotten in there, I see McAlpine there. Both McAlpines, Josh Pyra is getting credited with that one. Gained about a half a yard on that one. I'm gonna call it second and nine and a half. Bowen has Holmes with him in the backfield. He's got three out to his left. And handoff goes to the right to Holmes. He picks up about three. And he's brought down by Luke McAlpine on that one. Credited with the tackle. Rams defense looking to hold here on a third and five. Third and five from the 39. Good time for a stop. 5.33 and running. And the handoff goes deep to Comer and he's stacked up and brought down. Not fooling Luke McAlpine on that one. Also had Quint Sullivan back there with him. So, looks like the Hornets are lining up to punt from the 41. I have to keep an eye on this one. Look for a Gillerin back to punt. 4.42 on the clock and running. Rams. Looking to create another block. And the snap is good. Punt is good as well. And it's grabbed there by Sullivan. He brings it forward about nine yards. Sam Sullivan with the return. We'll start the Rams at about the 19. So the Rams will look, look to make something happen on their fourth possession of the evening. Up until now, they've been stymied by this Hornet defense. Masterson looking to make something happen. Has Griffiths with him in the backfield. Has Van Fleet back there with him. Two to his right, one to his left. Griffiths in motion, snap to Masterson. He looks, he's gonna throw a pass across to Couples who had it and dropped it, left it on the carpet. Incomplete pass, it'll be second and 10. 4.17 to go in the second. 6-2, Mansfield over Marshfield and a battle of undefeateds. Masterson's got Van Fleet right next to him. Man in motion is Yusinko. Handoff's going to go to Van Fleet, and he stumbles forward out to about the 22. Yep. It's going to be third and seven. Clock runs inside of four minutes. 
Masterson, three to his left. Griffiths to his right. Passes up and some contact there, but some good coverage as well by Jake Goldman. Breaks up that one. Pass was intended for Yusinko. So the Rams are gonna have to punt and gonna have to reassess what they're doing on offense and get rolling. Grindle back there to punt. He's having a busy night. Is as many punts tonight as he's probably had all season. And the snap comes back. The punt is up. It's short. It's high. Gonna need a good bounce here. And he get a good bounce. That the bounce will take it about nine yards forward down there by Sullivan. Hornets are gonna take over on Ram side of the field at the 49 with 3.33 to go in this first half in a 6-2 ball game. Two good defensive clubs doing battle here. These teams have been scoring in the 30s and 40s all year. Gonna take a big effort to get anywhere near that tonight. Every inch counts. Bowen back there. Takes the snap, the hand off to Holmes. Holmes is running right up the middle, he's gone. 20, 10, five, touchdown. 49 yard touchdown run for Nico Holmes, the senior. Just took it right up the middle and didn't stop. Nico Holmes found a hole as wide as could be and just ran right through it. Twelve two prior to the point after attempt here. Let's see what the Hornets decide to do. Bowen's coming in. Looks like they're gonna go for two. The way they've been moving the ball, you can't blame them. Got one man in the backfield, that's Scarpinelli. Two men to his right. Looks like that's the way they're gonna roll. Calls a timeout. Timeout, Hornets. When the timeout, when the timeout, Kathy's walking. No, just. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint. Coming out of the timeout, the Hornets are gonna be attempting a two-point conversion. Currently with a 10-point lead. So Bowen's got two men with him. It's Comer and Holmes, split. And he's gonna pass, he's got a man in the backfield. That's Trodden, and the pass is gonna, Trodden was in his face. Bowen flung it with the left hand, trying to connect with Johnson. Pass went incomplete. So the Rams stay within 10 of the Hornets. They'll get the ball back, 3.22 to go, looking to make something happen on offense. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint.
So Gillerin with the kickoff for the Hornets. Steps forward, puts a foot through it. Deep kick, high. Picked up by Skulski at the 5, 10, 15, 20. Looking to find a hole. Takes it all the way out to the 35-yard line. That's well, to the 30. That's where the Rams will take over. 25-yard return for Skulski. Did he Skulski, the senior, fearlessly running on kickoff returns. He's had a lot of success in this short season. Three sixteen on the clock. Seventy yards to go for Paydirt. Masterson. Got couples wide left, Skulski and Yasenko to his right, Griffiths in motion, the handoff, faked. And then a big tackle there by Guy, who grabbed Masterson and flung him down with a high tackle. TJ Guy, big fella in the backfield, quick feet, got in there and spun Masterson around for a loss. Second and 15 for the Rams. Masterson takes a look. Good man with him. He's going to have to dump that out to Van Fleet. Van Fleet runs forward and picks up. Should be the first down. Clock's going to continue to run after they set the ball. See where they mark him. Does that look good enough for a first down to me? It's just shy. So it's an inch that you got to pick up here. And so it is a first down. Thought they had it. They didn't move the sticks. To finally realize what they were doing. And now the ball's down. The clock runs 2.10 uh, to go in the half. Ram first down at the 40. Looking to put something on the board before the end of the half here. Man in motion. And the handoff goes to Couples. He's running out to his right. Doesn't find much there. Picks up a half a yard. Calling it second and 10. 136 clock runs. Masterson's got Van Fleet to his left. Skulski stutters in motion. Masterson takes a look, fires it into Skulski, who dives forward, picks up about four, almost five. Skulski picked it up and dove forward. Four yard gain for the Rams. 111 on the clock. Rams are going to have to move quickly here. Third and six. Going to have to make something happen here. Man in motion is Yusinko. Stops, reverses. Van Fleet with the run to his left. He's looking to find some room. And he's going to run into a bunch of angry Hornets there. Play just didn't develop fast enough. Results in a slight loss for the Rams. It's going to be fourth down in about six, seven. So the Rams have a decision to make here with 45 seconds to go on the clock. And Mansfield's going to take a timeout, hoping to get the ball back and another shot at putting some points on the board. So it looks like the Rams are going to line up to go for it. So fourth and seven. Run it, run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. 
And they've got movement on the line. Coming out of the timeout. Had some movement on the line. That's going to help the Rams make the cause a little bit a little bit easier. Fourth and two. 45 seconds to go. Fourth and two. And we got a timeout for the Rams. They're going to take their timeout. This fourth and two is much anticipated. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint. Okay. Two yards separate the Rams from a first down here. 45 seconds to go in the half. Get Van Fleet in the backfield with Masterson. Couples in motion, stops. Joins Van Fleet in the backfield. And the pitch to Van Fleet, he's finding his way forward. He's gonna pick up the first down. Hard earned first down for Preston Van Fleet. Followed a nice block there. Masterson to Couples. Couples looks upfield, trying to find some room. He's done. He's found some, and he gets out of bounds at the 41. The Rams moving the ball better here late. 29 seconds to go in the half. Going to need to pick up a, some more territory to take a shot at a field goal or a shot at the end zone. So good to get out of bounds there. Masterson in your two minute drill here. Griffiths in motion, stops. Masterson looks downfield. He's got time and he's got a long pass down the field. And it looks like we got a roughing the quarterback call in the backfield. Or is it a hold? Yeah. Personal foul face mask penalty against the Rams. So the Rams get called for the face mask. Gonna back them up fifteen yards. And guy Masterson overthrows Griffiths. 17 seconds to go. Skulski was flying down the sideline, finding some open territory. Masterson had to make a quick decision there. He's got men in the backfield. TJ Guy has been in the backfield all night for the Hornets. He's headed to play some Division I football in the fall. Masterson now. It's a third and 23 with 17 seconds left. The Rams are trailing by 10. Masterson looks, and he's going to take a hit in the backfield. He's brought down by Knowlton. Everett Knowlton was able to get a hold of Masterson and bring him down, and that's how the half's going to end. So after one half of play, it's Mansfield 12, Marshfield 2. Thanks for joining us on Marshfield Community Television. We'll be back with you for second half action from Alumni Field in Mansfield. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint.
We are back for the second half from Alumni Field in Mansfield. Visiting Marshfield Rams on Marshfield Community Television tonight. Final time, final half of the year for spring football. 12-2 as we enter the second half. Rams in a 10-point 10 10 point deficit. First time this season they have trailed. Skulski's going to grab that one at the 10. Get it out to the 20. 25. Go forward and finally comes down at about the 28. Nice return for Skulski. About 18 yards. So the Rams will look to get things going on offense. They had some struggles in the first half offensively. Two points came on a safety off of a blocked punt. The block from Casey Trodden. David Snow with you on a Friday night, Alumni Field in Mansfield. Happy to be with you on Marshfield Community Television. Owen Masterson takes over. He's got Van Fleet to his right. Couples in motion. And the give is to Couples. He's looking to run wide. He gets over to the 30 and is brought down in a heap. Tackle made there by Jake Goldman. So second and seven, close to six. Masterson's got Griffiths back there with him. Van Fleet to his left. The give to Van Fleet, he's running to his right. And cuts back. And takes it out to the 38. He's going to come up about a yard shy of a first down. The Rams have decided to take it on the ground early here. It's going to be third and about a yard and a half. Big play early here in this second half. Right from the start. And the snap is fumbled. And it's on the turf. And Mansfield has recovered. Snap never came away clean. Ball got stripped out of Masterson's hand and ended up on the carpet. And the Hornets able to jump on that at the 37, 38 yard line of the Rams. Defense gonna have to come up big here. So it's third and one. And on that third and one play, that fumble is going to cost the Rams. Sharpalini on the uh, fumble recovery for the Hornets. So Bowen takes the snap. He looks downfield, looking to throw. The lefty looks. He's going to throw out wide. And he connects there to Johnson. He's going to pick up six, it looks like. Casey Trodden with the tackle to pick up of six. Almost seven, six. It'll be second and four. Clock runs 10-24 in the third quarter. And Holmes is loose. He's running to his left, and Casey Trodden gets in there with Bunker. And McAlpine. Nothing happened there. Pickup of looking to see where the ref has him spotted. Yeah, so nothing gained on that one. It'll be third and four. Yeah. Oh, now they change their mind and move it up two yards. It's third and two. <laughs> So short yardage, Bowen comes in, wearing number one, as mentioned, Boston Herald, all scholastic quarterback, Matt Bowen. He gets in close, he's gonna take the snap. He's got three men lined up behind him and the give is to Comer and he runs left and he's loose and he could go all the way. He throws up a hand, takes it all the way down to the Seven yard line. So it'll be first and goal from the seven. First 
Three men lined up behind Bowen, and it's going to go to Comer again. He runs forward. He's going to be stopped after about one. A gain of about one. So Bowen's got three in the backfield with him. Comer's going to go out wide. It'll leave Holmes. Got a timeout being called by Mansfield. Second and goal for the Hornets from the six. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint. High School Fall 2 in Spring Athletics is proudly underwritten by Breakpoint. Once again, thank you to the folks at Breakpoint for their support of Marshfield Athletics. So it's going to be third and goal from the six. Second and goal from the six, I apologize. Bowen. He's got Holmes to his left, and Holmes, he holds on to it himself, and he's going to be met there by Casey Trodden. Casey Trodden grabbed him. Got a little help from his friends there. Nicholson back there. So a loss on the play will make it third and goal from the ten. So, third and goal, two men wide right, the snap to Bowen, he's looking towards the end zone, he's looking for Coma deep in the end zone, it's picked off, Sullivan picks that off in the end zone, huge play for this Ram defense. Sullivan stepped right in front of Coma, who was waiting and never moved in the end zone. He's yelling and at his own bench and it was his lack of movement forward that cost his team there and Sullivan picked it off and thanks him very much. Talented player, but decided not to move up, meet the ball there, and Sullivan took it away. So a big turn of events there. Rams could ill have afforded any of points there. Defense comes through. Mr. Sullivan with the interception. Scholes takes over at quarterback. Man in motion, that's Couples. Hand off to Van Fleet, he moves to his left, comes forward, spins and falls down after picking up about five. Second and five from the 25, Scholes takes over. And man in motion again, that's Couples. Holds on, throws a pass. He had Yasinko wide open and just overthrew him. If he connects there, there's nothing between Yasinko and the end zone. He would have had a scamp of 50 yards, but the pass was over his head. So third and five now. Play came off quick. Yasinko found some daylight, just unable to connect there. Ian Scholes steps in on a third and five. 6.33 to go in the third. Rams trailing by 10. 
Skulski in motion. And the pass is going to go to Yasinko, and he unable to hold on. Pass incomplete. It's going to be fourth and five. So the deep man for the Hornets on this punt will be Comer. He's in the middle of everything, talented player. Back at his 48, Grindle to punt. And we're gonna have a legal motion against the Rams that's gonna back them up. Grindle standing on his six yard line. And he's gonna get that kick away, good kick. Deep, sending Comer back and it's gonna take a Marshfield roll. Casey Trodden's gonna give it an escort down to about the 25 yard line. It's gonna land right there. Big punt from Grindle. Ethan Grindle gets the ball up and over the head of Comer, who could only let it fall, and he got a big roll. Big, big punt. Ethan Grindle. He's been busy with a lot of punts tonight. Normally it's for extra points. Tonight it's for punts. So the Rams look to have something happen on defense here. Trailing by 10 with 6.15 left in the third quarter. Bowen stands back. He's got a man in motion, that's Comer. He pitches it to Comer who's loose and he's cutting left and he's brought down at the 28. So he had a head of steam, took the ball deep off of that pitch, ran forward, couldn't get the hole that he needed. Nicholson on the stop. So it ends up being a gain of three. It'll be second and seven for the Hornets. From their 28 yard line, content to run some time off of the clock. Bowen's got Holmes with him, Comer, yeah, and flags flying everywhere. There was no whistle, there were flags up in the air, but no whistle. So James Griffiths was in the backfield waiting for a whistle as he should. So that's going to back the Hornets up. Sneaking in second and 11. 24 yard line is where the Hornets will resume their offense. Second and 11, holding to a 10 point lead from Alumni Field on the campus of Mansfield High School. Officials still talking to Coach Aruka. Have yet to pick their flag up off of the f off of the field. So once we resume play here, yeah. Rams will be looking to hold down, make something happen, and hope to get the offense back on the field. Ram cheerleaders are with us tonight, down to our left. Their seniors were also honored before the game tonight for their hard work. Oh, so Bowen has Holmes with him. The officials are taking a long time to resume play here.
All right, so the clock winds. Hornets. the longest in between uh, it's an endless pause here be third and 11. Now the officials are stepping back in again, having a discussion. I mean, I gotta get Sean Leary home before midnight. Turns into a pumpkin. Okay, they've got it down as third and 10. I don't know how they gained a yard without moving the ball, but we'll go with third and 10. The snap is up, Bowen looks downfield. He's got some time, he's got a man in his face now, but he's got a guy wide open who's gonna pick up the first down. And a little bit more, it takes it out to the 44. Everett Knowlton, the senior, picks up the completion and the first down. A big third down pickup for the Hornets. The clock will continue to roll here. Rams are going to have to do something on defense to keep this, keep within striking distance. So Bowen. Going to give it to Comer. Comer's going to be wrapped up. Pyers back there. Step forward, threw hands around him and dragged him down. Second and 10, generous spot from the officials there after that loss. And we got a reverse up the middle, gonna run for about five yards. Nico Holmes had a big run for a touchdown earlier tonight. Picks up about five, almost six yards on that play. Sullivan gets credited, credited with the tackle there. Third and four is what the Hornets are looking at. The ball, the nose of the ball, just shy of the 50 yard line on third and four. Big play for the defense here. Bowen rolling to his left. He's got a man on him, the ball's up and incomplete. Sullivan on the coverage. Griffiths was in the backfield with Bowen. Max Jerry was in the backfield along with Griffiths putting some pressure on Bowen. So the ball, as mentioned, just shy of the 50. Rams will have to be careful here. So the officials had spotted uh, Mansfield back five yards. Now they move it forward about a half a yard. 
In any event, Gilleran's back to punt for the Hornets. We'll see if he actually does. Yasinko's deep with Sullivan. Skip, ball skips. Casey Trodden may have got a hand on it. Short punt, goes out of bounds right at the 30. I think Casey Trodden got a right hand on that one. Deflected it slightly. So the Rams will take over, looking to change their fortunes on offense right now. And Ian Scholes remains in a quarterback. Remember, they almost connected on a long pass play last during the last drive on second and five. This is first and 10, man in the backfield, long pass, and it's over the head of Yusinko. They didn't connect there. Yusinko turned to his left, the ball was in the air beyond him. So on first down, we'll have a second and 10. First down, incomplete pass attempt to Yusinko. Rams need to make something happen here. 3.05 to go, trailing by 10. Man in motion, that's Couples. Fakes the handoff, Scholes looks downfield. He's got a man to his right, that's Yusinko. He's gonna leap and bring it down. Passes complete to the 41. With the Hornets talking to themselves. Yasinko had to wait for that one, brought it down. Pat Yasinko with a key reception there. Some confidence for the Rams. Yasinko in motion, fakes the handoff. He picks up the handoff. He doesn't have a lot of room there. He's going to be brought down for a loss. Rams are going to lose about six on that one. Holmes and Capolino with the Hornets on that play. Uh, second at about 14, I'm gonna call it, if not 15. Scholes has Van Fleet to his left, three men wide right. Nizalik to his left, he looks, he's gonna lay it out there for couples, just a little bit out of reach. It's gonna be third and 15. I'm still calling it 15. Rams look to the sideline. Gonna have to move here. 209 on the clock. Schultz looks, quick pass out to Couples. Couples got company back there with him in the backfield. He's gonna be. Got a little scrape going on. So, oh, objection to the tackle out of bounds. Comer was smart to just throw his hands up, be the peacemaker. Good sportsmanship there. On the wrong sideline for that kind of activity. Talented player. So the Rams will look, they'll send three men wide left. They got Nizalik to the right, Van Fleet in the backfield with Scholes. Man just jumped. Clock running, coming up on a minute to go in the third quarter. Rams look, Ian is gonna run forward and he's brought down. So the ball will turn over on downs. Once again, drive stalls. A little better that time. Leaving the defense in a little bit better position right now, but Hornets will take over now with the 39. Got a 10 point lead with a minute to go in this third quarter. 
57 seconds to be exact. And it's going to be Nico Holmes brought down. No gain there. Second and nine for the Hornets. Take the handoff, pass is to Holmes. He turns, spins, dives forward, picks up about five. Nico Holmes is one of the senior captains. That's how we're gonna wrap up the third quarter here. So no scoring in that third quarter. We'll hold at 12 to two. Rams trail by 10 going into this fourth quarter. Got a little bit of a uh, little bit of offense to take care of to get back in this one to prevent getting a knock on that perfect record to this point. Both teams undefeated. Somebody's got to go home with a loss tonight. Last game of the season. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint. Right on the field as we start this fourth quarter. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Fall 2 and Spring Athletics proudly underwritten by Breakpoint. Thank you to the folks at Breakpoint as we start this fourth quarter of the final football game of the season. Third and three from the 46 of the Hornets. Man in motion, and it's the handoff goes to Comer. He dances around and falls forward. He picks up about one. So it's going to be fourth and two from the 48. So ball carrier skipping off the field, Comer. He might hold in an ankle. Taking away one of the offensive options for the Hornets there is a big play. Big, big play for this Marshfield defense. They look to get the Marshfield side here. Good turnout from the Marshfield fans, mostly down to our right. Made the hour trek over here to Mansfield. Big play, fourth and two. Looking, and they're gonna call a timeout. Looking to draw the Rams offside there. Good discipline by the defense just to hold their ground. We'll see if they change their mind and punt here. The timeout charge to Mansfield, who hold a 10 point lead at 12 to 2. 11-11 to go in this one in the last game of the season. Both teams come into this. Four wins and no losses. It's a powerful Mansfield team. And the Hornet offense stays on the field. So Bowen, he's got Holmes with him in the backfield. Comer's back out there. He's recovered. And got a man in motion, and that's Bowen. He's going to pick up the first down, runs it forward. The fired up after picking up that first down. Found his hole. Picked up about four on that one. So it'll be a first down. First and 10, Hornets at the Ram 49. Hey, he's playing, he's grinding. Plenty of time. Switch. 
So Bowen takes over first and 10. Fakes the handoff, looks to pass. The lefty flings it out there. Ball's gonna hit Casey Trodden, who never got himself turned around. Ball hit him right in the back. Looks like there's a hold against the Hornets. That's the preliminary call anyway. Yep, it's a hold against Mansfield. So, gonna march them back 10 yards. Ball ends up down at the Hornet 38-yard line. First and 23. Bowen's got a man in the backfield with him. And that's Comer, and he takes it. He dances. He Casey Trodden locks him up and doesn't let go. Casey Trodden stepped forward, grabbed Comer at the waist, and just held on. Brought him down. Ball now resting on the 35-yard line. First down mark is all the way down at the Ram 39. A lot of ground to cover. And the snap goes to Bone. He's looking downfield. He's got men in his face. It's going to be a little pass, a little screen. Trodden meets him and hangs on, does enough to bring him down. They're going to call him down at the 45-yard line, 45 and a half. Casey Trodden just able to do enough to bring down Holmes. It's a little screen pass. Defense penetrated and left Holmes open, and Holmes able to dive forward, picking up a little bit, but still a big third and 15 here for the Hornets. Clock running, coming up on nine minutes to go in this one. Rams trail by 10 on the road at Alumni Stadium at Mansfield High School. Bowen rolls, looks left, and overthrows, throws between Comer. Over the head of Comer and underneath Wall. So it'll be fourth in 16, and now it looks like the Hornets will punt. So the Rams did block a punt earlier tonight. Yasinko's deep, standing on the 20 all by himself. And the punt by Gillerin is blocked again. Blocked by Tim Bunker. Pyres down on it. The Rams are going to take that over at the 42. Tim Bunker got right into the backfield. Bunker. Big turnabout there for the Rams with the block punt. Big play there for the Rams. Trodden was there, Bunker was there, punt gets blocked. Looking to turn things around here, make something happen. Ian Scholes stepping in for his third possession at quarterback on the evening. He's got Van Fleet with him to the right. Little handoff, nope, faked, and oh. Pass was low for Yasinko, who slid across. Ball almost bounced up into the hands of a Hornet, but it was incomplete coming off of the ground. Second and 10. Rams need to cash in here. 8.36 to go on this one, trailing by 10. Schultz has Van Fleet to his right. Two men to his left, man in motion, that's Nizalek. 
And Van Fleet's going to carry and going to bring it forward about four. Yep, it's going to be third and six. Third and six. No matter what he says, Sean, it's third and six. Skalski in motion. Joel's looks, looking for Vinny Wright. Oh, Yasinko had to leap up there, almost picked off as well. Good effort. Rams are going to have to go for it. Skalski was finding some open territory to the right. Big, big play here, 7.52 to go. Ball at the 38, Rams no doubt going for it. Man in motion is Couples. And a little shuffle, shovel pass there to Van Fleet and it's sniffed out by Holmes. And they just back the Rams up there. Mansfield takes over on downs. Ball's at the 38-yard line. Hornets will take over there. 7.46 to go in this one. Going to have to make something happen here. On defense. A couple of blocked punts tonight. Blocked extra point attempt. We've had a stop two point conversion. So the defense and special teams have done their job. And Comer's going to run right up the middle. He picks up about four, close to five, but a generous spot. About a four yard, five yard gain. Bowen, again, got that three-man look right behind him in a stack. Holmes, now he moves out. Scapolini back with him and Comer. And the pitch is to Comer deep. He's going to run forward, move to his left. And there's a hold and a big tackle there by James Griffiths. It's going to be a hold. Against Mansfield. You gotta back him up here. They're gonna refuse the penalty, bringing up a third and ten after the loss on that one. So they had a pitch deep. In the backfield, Comer with, with a four-yard loss there. So third and nine, big play here. 6.45, clock is running. Fourth quarter of the final game of the season in this spring football extravaganza. And we've got... A delay a game penalty. That's going to back up the Hornets. Another five. Be third and 14. Ball now resting on the 34-yard line of the Hornets. Rams defense 
Needs to make a play here. Comer, fake handoff to him. Bowen's got a man in his face. And a miraculous complete. Everett Knowlton, the senior, able to come up with the completion. It was as close to a Hail Mary as you're going to find. Bowen had a man in his face. Ball got heaved up. Knowlton makes the play, brings it all the way down to the 42 of the Rams and picks up the first down. That's a backbreaker. 24-yard gain on third down. And we got a big hold on that play. So Wall ran the ball, but I think we've got a hold on that one. Clock was running after the ball had gone out of bounds on that completion. So the Rams lost some valuable time there. 6.02 on the clock. Coach Aruka talking to the officials. So after the penalty, be first and 20. Ball sits on the 49. Clock continues to run inside of six minutes, 5.50 to go, 5.45 now. Bowen's got Holmes with him in the backfield, the fake handoff, and he's going to run it left. Bunker's in pursuit. He takes a hit from Colmer. There's a fumble. It's on the, bu it's on the ground, and I think the Rams have it. It is Ram ball. Pyers comes away with it. Josh Pyers and the Pyers rooting section right in front of us. Josh Pyers picks that one up. So just what the Hornets didn't need is what the Rams did need. Turnover. Rams will have the ball on the Hornets side of the field at the 49. The Rams will take over. Masterson comes back in at quarterback. Looking to make something happen here. Man in motion, that's Van Fleet. Masterson's gonna throw over to Skulski who had to go down to a knee to pick that one up. He's gonna call that second down. Loss of one. Clock continues to run, 5-13. Got to move here. Rams have got to make something happen on offense here to stay in this one. They trail by 10. Clock's ticking away, five minutes to go. Skulski in motion. Masterson looks downfield. He got men in his face. But he's also got a completion to Yasinko. He gets a hard-earned one yard there. Third and nine. Masterson's got Van Fleet with him. He's got a stack to the left. Skulski, Yasinko, and Couples. He looks that way. He's got some time. And the pocket closes in, and he's going to be brought down. It's going to be fourth and 11. Rams are going to have to go for it here. 4.15 to go. Clock's running. Everett Knowlton having a night for himself as a senior for the Hornets. He's in on the tackle there. Masterson's got Van Fleet to his right. Two out to his left. Skulski and Couples, two out to his right. He looks. He's got a man in his face. He's going to be dragged. He's got to get rid of it. Ball does get to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be incomplete. Pressure by number 39, Nico Holmes for the Hornets. 
Hornets take over first and ten from midfield. So the Hornets take over here with the ball on the 50. 3.47 to go in the fourth with a 10-point lead. Rams again are going to have to make something happen on defense. Fakes the handoff. Bowen's going to take it himself. He's got to pick up of a first down and a lot more. Takes it all the way down to the Ram 32. Big run for Matt Bowen. It's a big first down. First and 10 from the 32. Clock. Continues to run three and a quarter left in this one. Bowen's got Holmes with him to his left. Man wide right. Comer just to his right. He's in motion. Takes the handoff to him. Holmes takes it forward and he's loose. And still loose, and the ball's taken away by Sullivan. He's gone. Sam Sullivan, he's going to take it all the way. Strip the ball out of the hands of Holmes. What a turnaround, just what you needed. Sam Sullivan takes it all the way in from the 30-yard line all the way back. Huge play for the Rams. Sam Sullivan just when you needed it. Ball was just stripped out of the hands of Nico Holmes. Sullivan had nothing but green pasture in front of him, ran it all the way down, making the score 12 to 8. Rams will want to pick up this extra point and get within a field goal. Well, will they go for it? Yeah, Grindle's on the line. Let's see what they can do here. Griffiths goes, holds. And now they're going to get into position. Scholl's going to be the holder for Grindle. Big extra point here. 2.45 on the clock. Sam Sullivan ran it about 70 yards after a strip ball out of the hands of Nico Holmes from the Hornets. Big play. Sam Sullivan. Ball's down, the kick is up, and it is good. Big turnaround. Rams get themselves within three. 12-9, 2.45 to go. We're situated up here right next to the Rams defensive coordinator who said they were going to have to gamble on that drive. And that gamble ended up being a strip of the running back. And off to the races with Sam Sullivan. He's blocked an extra point tonight. He's stripped the ball and ran it all the way down. Big night for Sam Sullivan. 12 to 9, 2.45 to go. Grindle gets the ball from the officials. See if they put a play on here or if they just kick it away. Oh, we didn't expect this one to be any blowout, and it's as close as we anticipated. 12 9, 245 to go from Alumni Field at Mansfield High School, Marshfield Community Television. Carrying this one for you as we have all year in this abbreviated spring season. Ball is up from Grindle, it's deep. Kicked, goes out of bounds, which will result in a flag going out of bounds at the 15. So it does give the Hornets some additional 
Greenidge to work with here. The ball is going to be spotted at the 35 yard line. That's where the Hornets will take over, clinging to a three point lead. Defense again, going to have to make a play. Big play from Sam Sullivan. Can't say enough about the night that he's had along with Casey Trodden, Bunker, Griffiths, Pyers, the McAlpines, all of them. Nicholson and Bowen's gonna hold on to it and he's gonna be brought down after a pickup of about three, maybe four. Yeah. Second and six. Clock running, 216. Rams will need to get this ball back to be in a position to tie or win. 206, three point lead for the Hornets. Bowen has Comer behind him. Holmes in front of him. And Comer takes the snap. He's going to run forward, but he's met by a slew of Rams. Trodden in there. Bunker was in there. Rams take the timeout. Third and six. 148 to go. Going to have to get this ball back. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint. So it's all going to come down to this. Third and four for the Hornets. 1.48 to go in this fourth quarter of a 12-9 ball game. So, crowd certainly ready for this one. Bowen. Got Comer, and he'll almost drop that one. He runs forward, and he's going to come up. He's going to get a generous spot that's going to make it fourth and two. Decision time. Snap was loose. The handoff was not particularly clean. Fourth and two. So there's Mansfield. Have confidence to pick up these two yards. One forty-two to go in this one. Fourth and two. Look for the Hornets to try and draw the Rams offside. They don't. They quick kick. Nobody deep. Ball's going to bounce, and you can just going to get away from it, and it's going to land on the 10-yard line. Rams are going to have to go 90 yards. So a quick kick. Results in a long punt and a long roll with nobody back there to receive. So Rams are going to get a chance 
on offense to tie or win this one. Make the bus ride home a lot more pleasant to put some points on the board here. Either way, this has been a good battle. Lots of defensive plays. Scholes in for the, uh, Masterson in for the Rams. Quick pass out to Couples, who's going to step out of bounds at about the 14. He went out right at about the 15. Second and five, 123. He got out of bounds. The clock has stopped. Masterson. Got men spread wide to the right. He's going to watch out. He's going to throw across the couples who cannot hang on. He's defended there by Wall for the Hornets. So... Clock stops, 118, third and five. Rams are going to have to pick up this first down and more. Trailing by three, 118 to go. Masterson, men stack to the left. He takes a look. He's got Yasenko across the middle. He finds him. He's good for the first down. High tackle there. Out to the 27. First and 10, clock running, 107 to go. Masterson looking right, he looks, and ball goes out of bounds. It'll stop the clock at least. Pass was intended for Griffiths, 102 to go. Second and 10, 102 to go, trailing by three. Masterson looks downfield. There's a, there's a hold, flag down. Pass is complete right at the first down, but it's going to be a hold against the Rams. It's a killer. Going to back him up, would have been a first down. 53 seconds left. That's going to bring it back down to the 19. Check that, the 14. So, going to need some magic here. Man in motion is Yasenko. Snap, he looks right. Little dump pass, sniffed out. That was Van Fleet. Big play there for the Hornets. Rams are going to take a timeout. Got a long way to go. The holding call is certainly going to be a killer. So third and 25 for the Rams. Going to have to make something happen here. 46 seconds to go. They trail by three here at Mansfield. And a battle of defenses. Masterson takes a snap. He looks. He's going to heave it down long. He couples has it broken up. Nice play there. By Berto Freon for the Hornets with the coverage. Fourth and 25. It all comes down to this for the Rams. Fourth and 25. And 
Man in motion, that's Skulski. He's on the fly, and Masterson looks for him. And the pass comes up short. So the Rams will turn the ball over on down, sparring a defensive miracle here. And I would imagine that the Hornets are gonna be very careful about the way they hold on to the ball here. They've gotta get into some type of victory formation. Would look to be taking knees here. In any event, for a game that wasn't even scheduled a week ago, this has been a heck of a ball game. Right now, 12-9 in favor of the Rams, in favor of the Hornets. And Matty Bowen takes the knee. The clock's gonna tick down. Good sportsmanship being shown. Handshakes and hugs and blocks and fist bumps. A lot of respect out there. Good ball game by both defenses. And that's how the season's gonna end up. The Rams will take their first loss of the year. They'll end with a record of four wins and one loss. And the Hornets will come away still undefeated, picking up their fifth win of the season. Final seconds tick off. Wanna thank you for joining us during this spring football season. Thank you to Brait Point for your support of Marshfield High Athletics. Like to thank Sean Leary on the camera, Jonathan back in the studio. David Snow signing off for the final time this football season. We'll see if a baseball, softball, lacrosse, and anything else they throw in the spring. Talk to you soon. Good night. MCTV's coverage of Marshfield High School Athletics is proudly presented by Breakpoint.